Hey guys, it's James here, one of the admins here at Black Hat Community. Basically, we're a group of 600 SEOs who get together to simply say exactly what's working in SEO through our private forum, our mastermind Skype group. We've also got a tool section and we've got a video section packed with hours of actionable content just like the video you're about to watch now. So you guys have been asking me how I do my competitor um, link analysis and how I'm able to find high quality, sometimes free, high trust flow link opportunities that are niche relevant. And basically this video I'm gonna reveal all and show you guys the actual technique that me and my team use. The tool I'm using is Majestic SEO. It's one of the top link analysis tools um, in the, not just our community, but also the SEO community in general. The feature I'll be using is, in this video is Majestic Click Hunter, which I've yet to see much uh, blog posts or publications about uh, this particular feature. So by the end of this video, what you'll be left with is a nice spreadsheet of high quality niche relevant links of up to 10 of your competitors, which can be generated in under five minutes. The reason why this is so powerful is because Majestic Click Hunter only seeks links that link to two out of the 10 sites that you've specified. So the logic is if that site have linked to the guy that's sitting on number one and the guy that's sitting on number two and the guy that's sitting on number three, you can be sure that you can then go along and grab that link yourself because it's people that would only link to people in that niche or people in that special vertical and space. This is especially handy for things like e-commerce sites because it will actually show you pretty much a list of sites that would accept guest posts or if you're doing corporate SEO or very big where you've just literally spreadsheet after spreadsheet, this is a great, great, great way to do so. Generally, the flow is after I've generated the spreadsheet, what I'm doing is I'm sending it to my virtual assistant who's then going ahead and submitting the link on that website or emailing the webmaster for me to go ahead and get a guest post published on that website. I would still individually be downloading the links and contacting their links as well, but I think personally, if you've just started a campaign, it's definitely worth going after all of the links that you know more than two people in that vertical have, have got links on especially if it's a very big website. From each spreadsheet, I'm getting between 10 to 25 links, which personally for me is very worthwhile because they're not costing me anything if my virtual assistant is simply submitting them, or I've just got to provide a $5, 500 word article with a link back to my website that's very niche relevant and obviously looks great in client link reports if it's a client. Okay, so that'll be part one. In the second part of the video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to use SEMrush to basically grab all of your competitors' keywords that they're currently ranking for in Google. Now, these are gonna be real live key phrases that you can actually Google yourself and see them ranking for. SEMrush is, has a very large database and it's really accurate. You can use this to get brand new content and SEO ideas. For example, I've got a bodybuilding affiliate site and I noticed that one of my competitors was ranking for 12 products which I hadn't created review pages for, and then I simply went ahead and created brand new pages, reviewed those products, ranked number one, and now I'm making passive income from those keywords that I initially found using this method. Not to mention client SEO. If you're doing a proposal for someone and you can tell them their current search positions from keywords they don't even know exist and the exact position that they rank, you will stand out from 90% of SEO agencies and you're gonna build massive amounts of trust and rapport, and they're gonna be saying, wow, this guy knows exactly what he's talking about. We didn't even know we, we were ranking for these keywords. The great thing about SEMrush, just like Majestic, is the sheer database size. There's over 100 million keywords and over 100 million active domains in the database. So you can be sure if your country is supported by SEMrush and your client ranks for a search phrase with more than 10 monthly searches, that you will be able to export those search positions. Okay, let's go back to the first part of the video. Let's hop over to our computer, grab our search phrase, and then find some links using Majestic Click Hunter. Okay, so obviously we wanna hop over to Google, simply Google our search phrase, go through the websites, and then actually start grabbing each website and putting it into Notepad, because then what we'll do is paste these websites from Google in our niche into Majestic Click Hunter. So to find Click Hunter, just go to Tools, Compare, then click Click Hunter, and then simply go back to your notepad, paste your URLs into Click Hunter, and then simply click Hunt. It should go ahead and quickly 
return the results. Now we're going to order them by trust flow. So trust flow descending, um, that should say referring domains descending. We want the highest trust flow links at the top, the lowest referring domains at the top also. So once you've tweaked the settings and made it exactly like on my screen, all we want to do is press refresh, scroll down all the way to the bottom and then simply press export via CSV. And then really quick, all it will do is go ahead and download, open this CSV in Microsoft Excel, where we'll be doing a large portion of the data handling moving forwards. And then what we'll do is we'll then obviously modify the fields and then make that nice spreadsheet for our virtual assistant to then go ahead and submit links up. Okay, so we've got Excel open. Okay, so we need to tidy up the spreadsheet. There's far too much going on. We need to make good use of this data. So I normally start by going all the way to the right and removing all of the fields, all the way to the trust flow value, and then simply deleting it. And then after that, you've got to remove the TLD, the country, the subnet, all that stuff is just a little bit. So this is just a bit. You don't really, your virtual assistant is not going to make good use of that data to acquire the backlinks. So we just simply remove those. So, really, the only fields that we actually require are the domain, how many times it's matched with websites in the 10 URLs that we've specified, citation flow, and majestic topic. Now, match links could be useful if it's a directory or something, or they've had multiple guest posts on that site. But generally, it is worth just keeping the core. It make, makes it easier for your VA. So we'll put your contact email in a new column. Um, have we secured the link? Have we contacted the webmaster? So you can actually see the full uh, link acquisition process um, from the initial contact to the link actually being placed on the website. I think for me personally, the big takeaway and the big kind of big secret is the fact that I've actually ranked websites with just these links alone. I haven't actually had to go ahead and build private blog networks by domains, by links, or by guest posts. I've been able to just simply create uh, several CSVs of um, sub niches. So I've done bifold doors now. I could go ahead and do another niche aluminium doors, home improvement, and I could just keep creating these huge CSVs, and then my virtual assistants alone, by sending out personalized emails, can just rank my websites with these spreadsheets alone. And also, just for link diversity and throwing these links on there is very, very good. Just going back to the majestic topic, I found that it's very, very accurate now, and we can actually just select sites in our own topic. This is a great way to, for example, if you're using mainly hidden links, you don't, you actually want to display something that's relevant in your link profile. You don't want your whole link profile to just be empty, but yet you're ranking all over the place because you're using hidden links. So this is a great way to get links within your industry and within your category and actually increase those values. Okay, so hopefully you're still with us and you enjoyed that video and you got a lot from it and you'll be able to now incorporate it in your future SEO projects. We'll hop over to the second part of the video now where we're gonna be exploring all of our competitors' search positions that they currently rank for in Google. I'll be using a local SEO example for this one and I'm gonna basically open in my lead gen keyword list of high CPC niches and I'll simply Google these niches now so you guys will get a feel of exactly the kind of power that you will have to show to potential clients when you can simply just put in their URL and then that's it. That's all of their search positions just in a spreadsheet like that. For this example, I've chosen Fresno car accident lawyer, Fort Lauderdale accident attorney, and personal injury attorneys, Las Vegas, three highly competitive niches. All we're gonna go ahead and do is simply paste the domain of the people ranking number one for that particular search phrase, let it load, and then simply scroll down past everything else, because at the moment all we're interested in is in their actual search positions. All of that data is very useful. For example, people that are buying AdWords data is very, very useful. So you can actually steal that AdWords copy. But for the state of this demo, what we'll be doing is we'll exporting to Excel and then having a good look over all of the keywords and then you moving forwards actually using that data to win us new business, find new content opportunities and find new SEO opportunities. So now in this example, we've downloaded this website and we can now see each URL and each key phrase 
that URL is ranking for in Google and not only that the actual search position so generally you can have a play with it in Excel sort out the columns what I like to do is sort by the highest um, the highest number position so so that will be the keywords that they're struggling with basically so you can see here we have several key phrases which aren't on page one which potentially we could sell to this client to try and get them higher up if they didn't even know they were ranking for these keywords and you can just kind of see the flow that this is data that you don't even know exist and this is why it's so powerful so let's go hop over to our Fort Lauderdale keyword so these are the accident attorneys and let's stick that URL and then do the same process open up their Excel document and then have a look at their keywords and see this for a smaller phrase maybe and see what kind of keywords it gets from there and see if we kind of see the same trend in the usable data so again we've opened it up it's exactly the same we've done the same sorting on the keywords we can see the exact URLs that these people are ranking for in Google and we can sort it by the positions and we can now manipulate the data use the data and proposals use it to pitch them cold or actually use it to then steal those phrases and put them on your own website. So these are great, fantastic new content opportunities and good client acquisition techniques and opportunities that you can exploit with the wealth of data. If you were to then stack it with a previous video I made in the premium section where we actually dissect in whole niches and cities for new opportunities, doing something like this on a very personal level is a guaranteed way to just show massive value, build massive rapport, and actually get some clients. So that concludes me to the end of the video. Look out for future videos based around these type of concepts where I'll be showing you the kind of cold approaches that I'm successfully using to get clients on a daily basis or find new lead generation or content opportunities for my current clients or my current websites that I plan to build. So if you want to access the hours of video content that I've produced, our tool section, premium Scribe group with over 280 active SEOs, our capacity is actually 300 SEOs, and we keep hitting capacity and having to kick people out to make room for new members. And don't forget our forum with hours of reading material, case studies, for you guys to sink your teeth into. I'm giving you the discount code JAMES, which gives you a huge 30% off. This is not publicly on the website, so this is kind of an exclusive coupon code along with this video. So if you go ahead and go to blackhead.community, sign up with a coupon code JAMES, or do tiny.cc slash JAMESBHC, and then you can still apply the coupon code to get your discount. Personally, for me, the big aspect of the community is the fact that it has a very strong community-driven mindset. Everybody interacts and helps with each other, and I've learned a lot from the other members. If you're someone that's looking to network with like-minded people and speak to the people at those high levels, then I would highly recommend joining. Otherwise, if you're just looking to watch a few videos and not really take action, I think it would be worthwhile to just leave it for now because, like I said, it's people that take action, high level thinkers and people that are taking their SEO to the next level. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next videos or I'll see you guys in the premium section. Have a great day and thank you for taking the time out to watch this video. Also, if you wanna join uh, SCM Rush, you can join via my link just there. Okay, thanks guys, thanks for watching, bye.